everybody, I hope you're all well and getting on nicely with the long and short shading for the hills. So today we're going to be moving on to a new stitch which I've not done before called laid and couched, couched work, which is like this. So, so we can get an idea of, of how to do this, we're going to watch Philippa's how-to video to help us get started. Laden couch work, what an easy stitch. I always think of this stitch as something that the past embroiderers did when they were running out of time and the owner of the castle would say, come on, let's finish these bed hangings and we've got to move on. So all you do with this stitch is you come up on one side of a shape and you go down on the other. And what we're going to do is make a grid. We're coming up and down, so easy and so pretty because once you've made the grid we're going to decorate it. So first you work in one <coughs> direction up and down, up and down, don't carry your thread right round the back because it's quite a big shape no need to do that and then work in the opposite direction so up on one side and down here and then come up on the same side and down on the opposite side. So one thread's length would easily work this area but when you're working a larger area this is the one time you're allowed to have a much longer thread because of course you're not going up and down so frequently into the linen so you're not going to wear out your wool. So that's the laid work, laye, French word for laid and I'm going to just cast off across on the edge here of the next part of this feather couple of little seeding stitches and out the top before we move on to the next colour for the couching. Now we're going to stitch the laid work down using a couched technique. So you come up on one side of a cross and down on the other side and just make a simple stitch coming up one side and down on the other. Now you'll notice I'm going up through the diagonal line and I'm not following the line of the thread. I'm not couching there, there, there and there. I'm going up the centre like that and I find that this keeps my couching very straight and true and looking at old pieces this is how they did it. They also put in a little tiny stitch at the top of each line to keep that line in place and that means that this couching stitch doesn't pull and spoil the angle so that keeps it absolutely true. Then where you haven't actually got a cross but you would normally see the tail of the couching stitch you just put it in. So you see the whole view. I think this is like looking through a window and you see the whole view behind you. So even half a stitch is important with laden couch work. So you can work in one direction up and down, jumping over those little areas where there's a cross or where there would be a cross. So we could leave it with couching in one direction like this or we could put the couching in the opposite direction and make a little cross. There are lots of variations of couching and I'm sure you'll have lots of fun with it as I do. You could use a fly stitch, you could use a French knot to jump over the cross, you could put a whole starry stitch over the top and I've got lots of examples of this in my kits and in my designs because I love to play and this is a very playful stitch. And there we have laden couch work, very simply worked but of course you know there are lots and lots of variations. So that was really helpful so I'm going to thread my needle and get started and I will show you tomorrow how I get on with it. 